It is a general perception that drinking coffee will make you active, and most people who consume coffee daily do so in order to increase their energy, improve their focus, and get rid of laziness. All over the world, coffee is the most widely consumed stimulant on the planet because it contains caffeine. However, it does not affect everyone in the same way. Some people, for example, can drink multiple cups throughout the day with little effect. Others may experience negative effects after just one cup of coffee. According to the Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, trusted source, an 8-ounce cup of coffee contains approximately 80 to 100 milligrams, or mg, of caffeine. In this video, we will discuss why coffee makes some people feel tired. This video will also tell you the potential effects of coffee and give you tips for a daily intake of coffee. How can coffee make you tired? Let's look at the possible reasons why coffee can make you feel tired instead of boosting your energy. Caffeine. It is not the coffee, in fact, it is the caffeine in coffee that makes people tired. It does so by blocking adenosine receptors in the brain. Adenosine is a brain chemical that influences the sleep-wake cycle. Adenosine levels rise during the day and fall during the night. Adenosine molecules normally bind to special receptors in the brain, slowing down brain activity in preparation for sleep. Caffeine, on the other hand, prevents this from happening by binding to the adenosine receptors. Caffeine is quickly absorbed by the body, so people may feel its effects within minutes. In fact, the body absorbs 99% of caffeine within 45 minutes of consumption. Caffeine's effects will wear off once the body has fully metabolized it. Caffeine's duration in the body varies from person to person. Although it inhibits adenosine receptors, it has no effect on adenosine molecule production. Coffee is diuretic. To put it simply, drinking a cup of coffee may cause you to use the restroom more frequently. You may not notice anything if you drink a moderate amount of coffee, around 2-3 to three cups, but if you drink 4 or more cups, you may find yourself rushing to the restroom and because of losing a lot of fluid, you may feel dehydrated. Thirst, dry mouth, dizziness, dry skin, and lack of sweat are other signs of dehydration. In order to avoid dehydration, drink plenty of water and eat water-containing foods like fruits and vegetables. You may need to drink more water than usual if you are exercising, sick, or experiencing hot, humid, or cold weather. Seek immediate medical attention if your dehydration symptoms include fainting, a rapid heart rate, rapid breathing, confusion, or shock. High Sleep Debt Sleep debt is the amount of sleep you owe your body over the previous 14 nights. It is compared to your sleep requirements, which is genetically determined. What does this imply in practice? Consider the following example. If your sleep requirement is 8 hours and 30 minutes, but you've been getting less than 7 hours per night, you'll have accumulated a significant amount of sleep debt. Sleep deprivation has an impact on everything, from your mood to your productivity and your mental and physical health. However, it also makes you tired throughout the day, and no amount of coffee can fix this. Of course, coffee can provide a temporary boost, but it only masks how tired you are. So, if you are feeling tired after a coffee, it could be your sleep debt catching up with you. This is exacerbated if you reach for caffeine instead of catching up on sleep on a regular basis. Different Metabolism Caffeine is not metabolized at the same rate by everyone. If you metabolize caffeine slowly, it may not make you feel as alert as it does for other people. Conversely, if you metabolize caffeine quickly, it may not have as much of an effect or may wear off faster, leading to feelings of sleepiness sooner. Several factors influence how quickly a person metabolizes caffeine. Cigarette smoking accelerates caffeine metabolism. Conditions such as pregnancy or liver disease, on the other hand, may slow caffeine metabolism. Genetics Despite the fact that more research is needed, researchers have discovered that genetics influence how an individual responds to caffeine. Caffeine's negative effects, such as anxiety and sleep disruption, may be exacerbated by specific genes. Caffeine consumption may cause increased daytime tiredness if it interferes with your sleep. Coffee with sugar The sugar component of coffee can also make you feel tired. If you drink coffee that has been sweetened with whipped cream, honey, syrup, or plain sugar, you may feel tired if a sugar crash occurs. 
When your body consumes more sugar than it is accustomed to, insulin is produced to compensate. However, insulin also contributes to your blood glucose levels falling, and blood glucose, also known as blood sugar, is your blood's primary source of energy. So, as your blood glucose levels decrease, you feel a lack of energy that can tire you out. You may also feel hungry, irritable, anxious, sweaty, dizzy, or on edge as the sugar crash hits. Tolerance to Caffeine People who regularly consume coffee and other caffeinated beverages can develop a tolerance for them. Since caffeine blocks adenosine receptors, the body produces more adenosine receptors to counteract the effects of frequent caffeine consumption. Researchers examined the effects of continuous caffeine consumption on the cycling performance of 11 physically active adults in one small study, trusted source. The participants' heart rate increased and they exerted more cycling power at the start of the study. However, after 15 days, the caffeine's effects began to fade. Stress As anyone who suffers from stress knows, it can keep you awake at night. Insomnia caused by stress can leave you feeling tired or fatigued throughout the day. If you're feeling stressed, you may want to sleep to process the experience, as you consolidate emotional memories during sleep. We experience stress as a result of the stress hormone cortisol, which tells our body to stay alert in the face of a perceived stressor. Another factor that contributes to our body's stress response is epinephrine, commonly referred to as adrenaline. As epinephrine travels through the body, the heart rate increases and we breathe more quickly to increase our alertness. A 2017 study discovered that ingesting caffeine doubled the levels of, of epinephrine and cortisol regardless of whether the subject consumed caffeine on a daily basis or not. This means that even if you drink the same amount of coffee every day, you may feel stressed afterwards. After the initial stress response has worn off, your body may translate that stress into sleepiness. How to avoid tiredness So these were a few possible reasons why coffee can leave you tired. So, is there any way you can get rid of this tiredness? First, make sure that you are taking the appropriate amount of caffeine daily. The Dietary Guidelines for Americans from 2015 to 2020 Reliable Source recommend that most adults limit their caffeine consumption to 400 mg per day. Although there are no official guidelines for children and adolescents, research suggests that young children are more susceptible to the effects of caffeine. Caffeine can stay in the body for up to 16 hours longer in pregnant women than usual. Women can, however, safely consume a moderate amount of caffeine, up to 200 mg per day, while pregnant, according to the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists. Other than this, there are some easy fixes also. Pay off your sleep debt. Try to keep your sleep debt under 5 hours to feel and perform at your best throughout the day, as well as to reduce daytime drowsiness. If you discover that you have a lot of sleep debt, you can also repay some of it by taking a nap and sleeping in a little earlier. Maintaining good sleep hygiene enables you to fall asleep faster and wake up less frequently during the night, resulting in more sleep overall. It takes some caffeine cutoff time. It doesn't mean that you have to stop drinking caffeine entirely. Instead, you just have to respect your caffeine cutoff time. This is the time of day to avoid caffeinated beverages or anything else containing caffeine to allow your body enough time to break it down before bedtime. Most people will stop drinking caffeine around noon, though night owls may be able to do so until about 2 p.m. End. So these were some reasons and some solutions as to why you feel tired after having a coffee. I hope this video is helpful for all of you. Share your thoughts in the comments section about your experience of coffee intake. Do you feel energetic or tired after having a cup of coffee? Also, if you enjoy watching these videos, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. I'll see you again with another video on another topic.